This is just a short video on a couple of interesting articles I saw today, one of which was about Trump's messianic message, and the other about the curious history of the God Bless the USA Bibles. There will be a link to both of these articles in the description if you'd like to read them. The first article is on Axios, and it's entitled, Trump's Bibles and the Evolution of His Messianic Message. The article isn't too long, but it has four interesting quotes. Few politicians have commanded the loyalty of the religious right like former President Trump, whose decision to begin selling $60 Bibles for Holy Week has outraged his critics, but drawn little reaction from evangelical leaders. Trump has developed a sense of impunity when it comes to religious messaging, forged through a grand compromise with Christian conservatives who see him as a flawed but effective champion of their movement. Conservative allies, including an influential think tank led by Trump's former budget director, Russ Bout, have developed plans to infuse Christian nationalism into his second-term agenda. Since 2016, Trump increasingly has treated Christian imagery as a powerful rhetorical tool, including by comparing various investigations and indictments to the persecution of Jesus. To any Christian who is not wrapped up in the cult of personality surrounding Trump, his constant use of Christian imagery, especially in comparison to Jesus, should set off alarm bells. This is precisely how the Antichrist will act. It should also be easy for us to see that this country is steadily moving towards Christian nationalism, which is yet one more example of how too many Christians are poisoning the true gospel with the things of this world. I'll do a more in-depth video on Christian nationalism in the near future. Speaking of poisoning the true gospel, the other article I want to mention is on the Midas Touch Network, and it covers the rather sketchy history of the God Bless the USA Bible. The article is called, A Total Scam, Trump's Endorsed Bible Has a History of Negative Reviews. Perhaps we should start referring to all of this as Biblegate, but here are a couple of quotes from the article. The new Trump-endorsed God Bless the USA Bible isn't actually new. It was announced by Lee Greenwood in 2021 and was marketed as commemorating the 20th anniversary of 9-11. It was also first marketed at $49.99. As we know, if there's one way to commemorate the anniversary of a terrorist attack, it's definitely by selling Bibles infused with a patriotic message. The God Bless the USA Bible was originally going to be in the New International Version, but switched over to the royalty-free King James Version after Bible publisher Zondervan backed out after controversy. Many Christians took issue with wrapping the Bible in a nation's flag and including nationalistic documents alongside it in a single volume. The article goes on to list a number of bad reviews for the God Bless the USA Bible for everything from the poor quality to many people not even receiving their order. Apparently, in an effort to calm any fears of it being a scam, Lee Greenwood posted a couple of videos of himself working hard to ship the Bibles. Hi, this is Lee Greenwood, and as you see, we're doing our very best to sign all these Bibles that have been requested and get them out to me before Christmas. God bless you all. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday. Well, it's 1230 in the morning, and these are going to the post office right now, shipping our Bibles to you. Merry Christmas. So on that note, those are just two articles I thought might be of interest. And again, links are down in the description. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video, and I will talk to you guys soon.